So I do a man chat every Monday with a friend. We just FaceTime. And today I was telling him my, um, my, my new philosophy on life and how I see life. And so I wanted to share it with you because, of course, I document my story. He asked me how I was doing, which, uh, which felt nice because as a therapist, I ask people how they're doing um, all the time. I don't get a lot back. And not just a, you know, how are you doing as in, you know, in passing, but like a deeper, how are you, how are you really doing, right? Anyway, led to a conversation about uh, my, uh, my new mindsets, my new, um, I don't know if it's a theory or if there are lenses, but how I choose to see uh, life. And, you know, the way that you choose to see something, the way that you go into things, uh, they're going to directly affect your intentions, what you put weight on. They're going to affect your actions, right? Uh, they're going to ripple through everything. And so here's how I see life now or choosing to see life. I, I see myself as an artist, and it's not because I write. I, I just, yeah, I, I think every person is an, is an artist. And um, I think life, the way that we live it, is the painting that we are creating. And I think that uh, when we move on, when we pass, what's left is how you lived, Right? And that is your art. And like art, everyone's brush stroke, everyone's uh, conception, how they uh, express themselves, and what they decide to hang on the wall, it's going to be different, right? And also, what I love about this is then your story becomes your art. And... The thing about art and the reason why I use the word art and artist is because with art, there's no judgment. With art, you take in what the art is and it's what the feeling produces, right? There, you don't look at a piece of art and say, um, well, that's wrong and they should have done that. I mean, I guess you could, but that's not the point of art. The, the, the point of art is it is a self-expression. It is a creative expression. It is also unique to the artist. And by sharing the art, you get to observe, take in someone else's point of view, someone else's gifts, someone else's, you know, um, story. And so for me, I'm 49 and I'm headed toward now the, uh, I think I'm already in it. I'm in, uh, I'm in the, the, the moon phase of my life uh, instead of the sun, uh, according to uh, Carl Jung. The sun being your early years, lots of uh, testosterone and energy and um for me, you know, my 20s, 30s, lots of forcing things, lots of chasing, lots of uh, predictable definitions, lots of being reactive, lots of tying things to worth, right? Uh, I, I, I think the sun is, is you know, it's, 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 it's heated. And the moon, to me, and this is the other half of your life, which I feel like I am now in, uh... The moon is calm. The moon is... The moon knows things. <laughs> I think the moon is wise. The moon is more interested in um, tides and energy and the ebb and flow. The moon is interested in state and dropping into being, right? And I think the moon attracts. I think the moon doesn't chase. And so for me, when I think about 
the next, I don't know, 30, 40 years of my life and how I want to live them, um, I now have the ability because I am in the moon of my life instead of the sun. Because if I was 20, I definitely would not be having uh, this conference. I would not be telling you this and this is how I want to live. Uh, I would not be seeing life as art and your story as um, art and the way that you show up and the decisions you make as as brush uh, brush strokes to a painting, right? I, I wouldn't see life like that. I would see life in my 20s as um, building and grinding and, you know, forcing and being impatient and making shit happen and all of that. Uh, it's not who I am today. Uh, it's who I used to be. It's not who I am today. And I do think that uh, we're meant to go through that. I think, I think that's um, part of being human, you know, uh, the first half of your life, uh, the sun of your life. Now, the moon of your life, uh, now I'm wired, I think. I'm more positioned to see life as art and see my decisions and choices as brush strokes. And as an artist, I want to color outside the line. As an artist, I want to create something that is not only honest to me, but um, maybe controversial, right? What art isn't controversial? I mean, good all good art is, right? Uh, I, I want to create a story that's going to move people. They may not agree. They may not agree with, with my uh, piece of art, uh, but they may love it. They may hate it. Um, but it will move them in some way. So then the question is, what does that look like? How do you then, if that's your decision, then how do you live a life where uh, you make choices, and this is in all areas of your life, whether we're talking about you know travel, sex, uh, work, play, you know, all, all areas of your life, movement, fitness, how do you start making choices in your life if you are pulling from moon, not sun, and the idea that you are creating art by showing up in this specific way? What does that look like in the day-to-day? -day? How do you then create your painting? Well, for me, it's it starts with this. It starts with uh, dropping into your body and knowing your truth. And I say dropping into your body because I think a lot of us, uh, we get very thinky. We're in our heads a lot. And in our heads isn't truth. It's a lot of uh, billboards and old blueprints and um, a lot of shoulds, right? And a lot of things that are passed down from family, uh, you know, influences from friends and, and, and advertising and all of that. So if you drop into your body, it just it's more accurate on, on um, feeling where you're at and what your truth is. So I would have to start with my truth in everything, in work, in play, in intimacy, you know, in friendships, uh, all relationships. What is my truth? What is it that I want? What is it that is valuable to me? Because chances are, they are different. Chances are, if you've had any kind of character arc in your life, if you are in a different stage, if you are entering a different stage, if there has been an evolution, if you have been looking inward, if you're curious, if you are a seeker, chances are it's different. And so if your truth is different, you have to back that with action. And uh, it's not easy uh, because I think it's hard. It's, we've never done it before. Many haven't, right? So I think it's a practice. And so what does it look like to put action behind your truth? How do you stand on your truth and then execute by putting action behind it in all areas of your life? And this is where it gets, you know, this is where you can now have tasks, right? Uh, what does it mean specifically? Does it mean drawing boundaries? Does it mean 
uh, that some friendships retire? Does it mean that you invest in different things, other people? Does it mean you design your day a different way? Does it mean that you no longer punch a clock because it's not honest to you? Does it mean that you pursue a passion that you were scared to? Does it mean that you put monogamy on trial? Does it mean that you um, fulfill needs that you have neglected? I don't know what it means to you, but I do think it's what gets you to show up in life and start to live life, although scary, in a way that lines up with your journey, your evolution, and where you're at. And at the end of the day, if you do that, and it takes courage, and you may get pushback, <laughs> but if you do that, right, and it's not going to be a color by numbers, because because I, I don't think it's uh you know like 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 any artist, I don't think it's something that you just um, you color this this color and you color this this color. I think it's a lot of splashing, uh, splattering paint and a lot of figuring things out, ripping down. Uh, painting, starting over again, right? That's all part, part of the process. But I think if you do what I'm talking about, um, you will live in color and what you will leave behind will be art, not a, a, a copy and paste job, right? You'll be leaving behind something that will move someone, inspire someone. You will be leaving behind something, and I'm talking about your story, that will possibly challenge people's thinking or affect them in some way. And to me, uh, that's what art's about. And as I move toward my moon years and head into 50, um, this is how I want to live my life. This is where I want to pull from. And I don't know yet how it's going to ripple outward in all the things that I do, whether that is uh, movement, creativity, writing books, social media, podcasting, um, intimacy, love, building what I'm building, friendships, right? All of that stuff. I don't know how it's going to ripple yet outward, but I trust that that's going to be... Um, the story that's going to be my art, that's going to be what I leave behind, uh, that is me.